first up was uh, uh, was whether or not the uh, government would be keeping the pledge to actually maintain real terms rises in the NHS budget throughout this parliament. The government's commitment to a real terms increase in health funding will not be met. Oh. Now, now, we all remember those posters during the election. We all remember his face airbrushed on those posters. Will, will he now admit that he's breaking that promise? Now, the reason that uh, the government is going to struggle with that promise is because the figures that were set out by George Osborne in the spending review did point to a real-term spending rise in health spending and, indeed, actually school spending as well. But then at the beginning of last week, the Office for Budgetary Responsibility set out revised inflation forecasts. And basically, the situation is that the NHS is not going to get as much bang for its buck. And so rather than a real-term rise, we're now looking at a slight fall. And uh, that is the case in schools funding as well. Well, so how would David Cameron respond to this? We want to see NHS spending increase by more than inflation every year. I am confident that we will fulfil our goal of real terms increases every year in the NHS. It will be interesting to see how that confidence is justified, whether or not it means some further injection of cash uh, from the Treasury, or perhaps just hoping that the next inflation forecast in six months' time is more favourable. But uh, we'll look to find out more about that.